In this video I'll show you how to make some uh, edition bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. This is the initial screen of the software. I click create new bingo card project and I'm given the choice of what kind of bingo cards I'd like to create. I can start with a blank bingo card, enter my own words, choose alphabets, choose uh, numbers. I can also choose school subjects like geography, history, science, um, choose English which is useful for English grammar or English as a second language. Events, which include birthdays, baby showers, bridal showers, holidays, which include Christmas, Halloween, Easter, and so forth. Um, and in this case, I'm going to choose math because I'm interested in addition. And in the math page, there's a lot of different options related to math, but there are four addition options. Uh, addition easiest, which is single-digit numbers. Addition easy, adding two-digit numbers. Addition of three-digit numbers. And addition of four-digit numbers. And I can simply choose the one that I like. In this case, I've decided I'm going to choose Addition Easy, the two-digit numbers uh, item. I either double-click on it or click on it once and then click OK. And here is the um, addition uh, items that will appear on the bingo card. I can also add additional items to the bingo card. So, for example, if I wanted to add uh, 47 plus 47 equals and then whatever value. I simply type that in and it will be added onto the end of the list there. And if I don't want one of the items that are on the bingo card, say I don't want 52 plus 34, I simply highlight it and click delete. So I can customize what items are going to appear on the bingo card. Um, I can also customize uh, the bingo card size. I can make a smaller bingo card, for example, a 3x3 three three bingo card or a 4x4 four four bingo card or 5x5 five five that I started with, or larger ones such as 6x6 six six or 7x7. Seven seven. So in this example I'm going to stick to 5x5, five five, um, but uh, you could choose a different number if it suited you. You can choose whether or not to have a heading on the bingo card there by checking or unchecking that option. I can choose uh, what the heading might say. I could change the word bingo to something else. Change whether to have the free space in the middle of the bingo card. And again I can change what the free space might say if I wanted to have it there. You can also change the fonts and the colours. Uh, I'll change the colour of the heading just to show you um, that it's possible. I'll make the heading red uh, with uh, yellow text and we'll make the lines uh, blue so you can see that there's uh, several colours involved. Change the square colours, I can change the free space colour, I can even use a pattern of colours to make up the squares. But uh, I'll click OK. There's an example. I've changed the colours. I could also change the fonts. Um, but we'll say that I'm happy with that and I'm ready to print. So now let's look at the printing options. Printing options here are on the right hand side. Uh, the first option is print call list. That basically will give this list of, list of items in a random order on a separate sheet from the bingo card or sheets in some cases. Um, so if you're the bingo caller you have a printed reference that you can call the items for. Not everybody wants that. If you don't need it you simply uncheck it. But if you want it you find it useful you can turn it on like that. And I'll leave it on in my demonstration so you can see what a call sheet would look like. Uh, I can choose how many bingo cards to print per page. I can print multiple bingo cards on each page. Um, that's useful if I want to save paper, uh, particularly if I'm printing a lot of bingo cards. Uh, the disadvantage is each individual bingo card tends to be smaller uh, in order to fit more than one on a page. And um, I would usually have to cut the paper up if I want to give one bingo card to each player. So I'll leave it on one in my demonstration so you can get a clear view of what the bingo cards look like. And lastly, I choose how many different bingo cards I need. I can put in one, I can put in ten, I can put in a hundred or a thousand, I can put in any number between one and nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. So in my demonstration I'm going to put fifty. Now ready to do print. I will in fact do print preview so you can see what the um, printout would look like on screen. The first sheet here is a call list, the list of uh, items that can appear on bingo cards in random order. There's quite a lot in this list at the moment, so it's actually gone on to um, two columns, and I think if I go to the next page, you'll see it's actually gone on to a next sheet. So it's a total of three sheets, uh, three co three columns, or two and a half columns, uh, spread over two sheets uh, for all the items in this particular call list. Usually there aren't quite as many as this, and so you, it would usually fit on one page, but it depends on how many items you have in your list of bingo card items. Do the next page, you will now get the first bingo card here. Um, there you see it's got the, the addition sums that I had uh, randomly uh, ordered around the bingo card. If I zoom out you'll be able to see the whole um, 
bingo card. If you look carefully, you'll see the 61 plus 23, 89 plus 47, and so on there. When I do next page, you'll see that the next bingo card has a different set of addition problems. They've, the items have been shuffled about so that every bingo card is different. Uh, and that's basically it for my uh, addition page. If I do next, you'll see that I've actually got uh, every lots and lots of different addition bingo cards, everyone different, using different arrangement of the items. Uh, if I close my uh, print preview, I will just show you one last option, which is if you look on the play menu, there's an option called Call Game, which is an alternative to using the call sheet. Uh, what it does is it, the software will choose one of the items at random, display it on the right hand side, it will display the current item and any previous items on the left hand side. So when I click next, it will choose another current item for the bingo caller, and then it will show that item at the top, and the previous item on the second, and then I can choose another one, and you can see the uh, the list on the left hand side is being updated every time it's a new item is added on the right. Eventually a scroll bar appears. So that's another way that the bingo caller can select which items to call out. Okay, that's basically it. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. You can go to bingocardprinter.com and download a free trial version of the software, which is free. The software works on all recent versions of Windows and it comes with hundreds of different templates for you to try out. If you do like the free trial version, you can register and upgrade to the full version which is what I've shown in this video. The full version has uh, one or two extra features um, and hopefully you'll like the free trial version and, and decide that you want to register too. Thank you very much. Uh, software is called Bingo Card Printer. BingoCardPrinter.com is the website. Thanks again.